Okay, we're going to show you how to create a Joomla website. First of all, um, we need to find a hosting company, and I would recommend using SiteGround.com. Um, what we need to do, if you're just going to have one website, then you can use um, a startup, which has cost you about £33 plus VAT. So I don't know, uh, 38 quid, something like that. Um, and it will give you one website, 10 gig of space. OK, um, before you do get started, make sure that you know what um, your um, uh, domain name is. That's the important thing. Um, you can either register a new domain or I've already got a, a domain name, but just make sure you know which domain you want first. OK. Um, now I'm going to show you my account. Um, I've already logged into my account area and I'm just going to quickly show you how to set up your site um, once you've got your domain name. Um, so if you go to control my accounts and then to cPanel, um, your add-on domain would be uh, added here, whatever that domain name is. I've got a few down here. Um, what I'm going to do is just create a subdomain for the sake of this demonstration tagged on to my high level domain called wordwalker.co.uk. So if I click on subdomains, okay, I'm going to create a subdomain of toys. Well, if I call it toys for boys, yeah, and I'm going to create that. So I've now created my subdomain. Go back to control panel. And I now need to create my database. So if I come down here to database, databases, MySQL databases, and then if I just create a database called toys and create that database. OK, so that's my database created. I then have to create um, a user, OK, or I can use an existing user. But if you're starting out, you'll have to just create a, a new user. And I just use my first name and you could use your own first name as well. And you'll see there wordwalk underscore Alex is me. And I just need to select the database which I created, which is wordwalk underscore toys. Click on add. Click on all privileges so that Alex can um, edit and, and do anything he wants on, on that particular debate, database and just say make changes. OK, so that's I've been given all the privileges on the um, Toys R Us. You might need to use the pagination buttons to get to toys. So that's the database name is wordwork wordwalk underscore toys. And the user is wordwalk underscore Alex. And you may want to um, remember that as well. And when you create your user, you will have created um, an, a password, obviously. And you'll need that password as well when you come to install the Joomla website. So go back to your C panel. And if we then go to File Manager, which is down here. OK, and then find toys, which we created, which is here, toys, toys for boys. Click on go. We'll then come into the file manager area and you'll see here um, I've just got a CGI bin folder. And you can see public HTML toys for boys. So that's the subdomain area that we created, if you remember. And you'll see it's there. And that's the area. Um, in here, we need to go to Joomla and download the latest version. Um, and here we go. So if you click on download Joomla, that will then download um, the Joomla uh, zip file for you, which you then need to upload to this area. And I know that I've already 
downloaded it. So I'm going to simply choose the file, which is in my downloads area. And it's called Joomla 3.7.3, .3, which is the stable full package. And open that. And once I've done that, I can then click on here to go back to the, the root of Toys for Boys. And there's the file. All I need to do now is just extract that zip file. So all the files then are dropped into that area. OK. And there you can see them. They're all in there. I'm just going to delete that zip file because it takes a bit of space. OK. So we've got everything there ready. All I need to do is create a new browser. Go to wordwalker.co.uk forward slash the name of our uh, subdomain that we created, which was toys for boys. OK, click on that. And you'll see now it's gone to the installation directory um, where you can set up Joomla. So that's the installation folder there that you can see. That's what it's, it's going to run. Choose your language, English United Kingdom. Choose a site name, whatever you want. You can come back and change that at any point. Test site. I don't know, anything you want to call it. Super user account needs an email. Usually it's your own one. Choose a username, choose a password, confirm your password, and then simply click on next. Now we're into the database configuration, MySQLi, you leave that as it is, localhost, leave that as it is, and the username, if you remember, which we which we wrote down, was wordwalk underscore Alex. If you're a bit unsure, you can always come back to your login at um, SiteGround and to your cPanel and then come down again, find your toys database, which is here. So the database name is wordwork, wordwalk underscore toys and the, the user is wordwalk underscore Alex. OK, so database name, wordwalk underscore toys uh, yeah um, and the username is wordwalk underscore alex the password i use to create the database with i won't shout that out here and then simply click on next and here you can see that we've got the final stages so i can either install joomla without any um, data in it whatsoever or I could do a blog in English with sample data, a brochure, default English, or learn Joomla English. I'm going to do learn Joomla English and put some sample data in there. And I can see here that everything is as it should be. I've got green yeses everywhere, which is brilliant. And then simply click on install. And once I've clicked on install, Joomla is in your own language. I can create different languages as well, install those now, but I won't do that for the time being. The important thing is to remove the installation folder. OK, so that's now been uh, removed and it's all functioning. So I can go to my administrator side and it will ask me to put my username and my password in and then simply log in. And then you'll see now um, that I'm in the administration area for boys, toys for boys. Uh, I'm going to say no to that. Um, if it was a live site, I'd say yes, so that Joomla could learn from any um, issues that my site has. If I click on here, I can then go to the front end and see what the front end looks like. And here you'll see toys for boys um, with all the data that you could wish it, possibly wish for and explaining different things about how to create articles, how to create mo modules, how to install components and modules, um, you know, uh, everything else. Um, so that basically is all you need to do when creating your um, Joomla site. 
and all you need to do now is learn how to um, create content, create menus, etc., etc., which you can learn from YouTube, going to the Joomla website, or indeed actually reading stuff here as well. Okay, hope you found that useful and uh, look forward to seeing you next time. My name's Alex Walker.